or I went to a decent college. So I was sheltered from various kind of job opportunities that exist in the market. Back in my college, FANG was sort of the dream most people, at least in computer science, would aim for it. And that was sort of, you know, if you got into that company, you would coast there almost forever. Uh, even today, a lot of my batchmates, I realized, you know, eventually ended up landing at Google or Facebook and, you know, very happy there and probably one of the good outcomes from a country like India. In this video, though, I want to talk about all set of outcomes that exist. I've divided the video into four categories. I want to talk about the day to day in these four categories. What does your day look like? What is your work life balance? How much money can you make? What is your end outcome? If you keep working in a company like this for, let's say, 20 years without any further ado, let's get right into it. The four categories that I'm going to talk about are going to be consults, FANG, remote jobs and finance. High level, I feel these are the places where you can work as a developer. There might be more categories if you venture into data science and there are a bunch of other categories of jobs. But if you want to be a developer, high level, these are the four categories. Let's kick things off with consults. Uh, we'll kick things off with a very basic consult, which, you know, back in college, I did not even know of. Eventually through videos, I realized, okay, you know, TCS, Cognizant, Wipro are a thing. Um, they're looked down upon for obvious reasons. Uh, you know, they don't pay really well. A lot of times they're compared to, you know, a Momo's shop owner, you know, rather become a Momo's shop owner or a business owner than working at these companies. Sort of agree, sort of disagree, everyone's, you know, uh, path is different. Some people want to stay in tech. So, you know, for them, it makes sense. Uh, salary three to five LPA. But the bigger problem I see here is uh, that it doesn't beat inflation really well. Their starting packages haven't changed in the past few years, which is usually a bad sign. It means your growth in the company will also stall quickly because they don't, you know, consider inflation to be a thing. Power law is immense. One person is doing a lot of work. This again comes from a friend who used to work in one of these. And he told me here, I was the one who was doing most of the works. I was pulling out 16 hour weeks work versus the other people in my team. They just did not know how to work uh, because they are doing such bulk hiring, not filtering people well. A lot of times average developers end up making to these consults. So they don't know what to do. So there is a power law. If you're on the wrong side of the power law, you're working really hard for, you know, a three LP offer, which is not the best situation to be in. But at the same time, if you are that person, you know, it's easy for you to switch from this company to a different one. Can take it if you have no other options. If you don't want a fallback of, you know, whatever a Momo seller or whatever that business might be, or if you feel, you know, you want to stay in tech, if you don't have any other options, what else will you do? Not the worst idea in the world to join them, but at the same time, make sure, you know, you're taking out time for learning and, you know, you have another outcome in mind because it's hard to retire extremely rich from these companies, unless of course you grow through the ranks over a few years. Option number two is slightly better consults. Uh, this is again consultancies, but not your standard TCS and Wipro. They don't do bulk hiring. They still have, I would say, 100, 200 people offices in India. Um, and their starting offers are usually better, somewhere between 7 to 10 LPA. They're not coming to campuses doing bulk hiring. Um, you have to find them. Well, they do come to campuses from time to time. They go to these institutes that exist, you know, in Bangalore, Noida, where people are being trained or let's say Java and, you know, hire from there as well. Uh, the work-life balance pretty much, you know, remains the same. Uh, it's it's not great. Uh, I don't think there's a power law here either. They fire very quickly if you're, you know, not doing well. They have a lot of internal projects. So if you are benched, it's not like you're free. Uh, you will work, you know, you'll be moved to a team where you're working on internal projects. Usually these are companies based out of the US only. They have an India office here. Um, work-life balance can be extremely bad, especially if you're not a good developer. A bunch of times they're tracking you via, you know, weird things like cameras and mics, which is weird. Uh, but there's an option to move to the US. Again, this is a friend's friend who, you know, moved to the US from this company, eventually got fired also. Uh, but long story short, since these companies do have an office in the US, even in Infosys that happens, at least used to happen a lot back in the day, a lot of people would move from India to the US. So a decent path, path to, you know, move to a different country if you don't want to go for a master's. You will keep, you will keep on itching to move out to a product based company. This, well, it depends on your ambition, but I would say, you know, if you are an ambitious person, if you're watching this video, then, you know, at some point you will be like, hey, why am I stuck in this seven to 10 LPA working on ESP.net as a client to a US company with an intermediary in the middle. So, you know, you will have feel that itch uh, unless you want to coast. But again, it's very hard to coast in these companies. Third category you might not have heard of uh, are, you know, more niche or consults. Specifically, I'm talking about Web3 consults here. Uh, Crack Devs is one of them. Um, and, you know, they've had at least 10 people now from 100X Devs. Uh, these are the same model, but applied to Web3, there's a company in the middle that's, you know, helping you get hired in the US and then, you know, of course, making some markup on top, a lot of times making referral fees, whatever. Uh, but long story short, you know, they'd be more than happy to give around 800 to $1,200 a month. That's like whatever, $60,000 to one lakh a month. Uh, this is one of the people, I think three, four people messaged me that they got in because these guys tweeted about hiring from 100 Uh Long story short, uh, 
it's a decent path for learning um especially you know if you're in college or early grad and don't, don't have a job right now um very niche technology not a lot of people even know what web3 is so you know if you can build some basic contracts and you're early in your career this much money is okay for you then you know very easy hire to make uh, usually have a one month probation so you're sort of an intern for the first month you get paid a little bit lesser you know the lower end of this and if things work out then you become full time learning curve would peak over here so one good thing that happens over here is you're working on a web3 product you know you're not working on asp.net whatever uh, so this knowledge can eventually translate to more money in a proper web3 company but a great starting point if you want to get in, get you know uh, in web3 invest a lot on education um, these companies sort of want to make sure you're a good developer so you know you'll find whatever boot camps slash other things that they would invest on you on to make sure you're a good developer because if you are a good developer then you know the consult also makes money in the middle by referring you or whatever having you as a as a end developer for their clients and usually not based out of india there are a bunch of india based consults also but usually the ones that are paying this much are consultancies either in europe or the us h saying if you know used to work for one such company in europe and crack devs is one such company in the us uh, So this is like the third category of consults, probably the better one amongst the three that I've mentioned. Because one, your learning curve is really high. Two, uh, it pays slightly better than the last two. And number three, you know, you're sort of very easy to move from here to whatever three thousand dollars a month in a Web three job. All right, let's move on to category two. These are on-site jobs. I'm not going to talk too much about them. I think they're fairly popular, so you already know. Number one is a Fang. Um, decent outcome as i said 30% of my batch is in fang everyone's very happy so you know if people from iit people from computer science in iit are working at fang you know it's tells you something it tells you ki those people ka outcome was that and if you get the similar outcome you sort of have a similar outcome to one of the best colleges in india or whatever so 12 12 to 15 lps starters there are start stocks on top uh, they don't beat inflation either is what i felt because i got into microsoft and i was looking at my offer letter and it was 14 lpa base back then and today it's 15 so over the span of 10 years almost 7 years uh, it hasn't t- changed too much since 2018 to you know 2024 uh, on the starting end maybe it does as time goes by um but you know the work life balance here at least for microsoft is really good amazon is really bad google is somewhere in the middle uh, so if you want to again you know coast as an employee and you know retire with let's say 1 to 2 mil easy if you uh, work here for 20 years if you're letting your stocks vest and if you're not selling your stocks google and microsoft will almost always be it you know an fd so your net compounded wealth would grow to 1 to 2 mil easy in india and probably 6 to 10 mil in the us so if you do move to the us from here or via a masters whatever uh, and stay there for again 15 years i don't think this is out of reach to you know reach such outcomes which is a great outcome and as i said you know an outcome that a lot of people from it's are also you know there only most people i would say you know majority is uh, here happy and you know uh, very satisfied with an outcome like this The second is product-based companies uh, weren't very popular back in the day. Between a Zomato and a Google, people would always choose a Google. Today, I think it's debatable, uh, and I think even back in the day, the people who ended up choosing Zomato or Razorpay over Google ended up doing well because Zomato ended up going public. Uh, your stocks would have at least 10x. So if you got a 10 lakh grant or a 20 lakh grant, that became 2 CR in a public market, which means you know you can actually liquidate it. Uh, So today they are popular. I think you already know. Uh, they pay well also. You know, Zepto will pay more than Fang, or at least you know as much as Fang. And their stocks might be worth a lot in the future. They can also go down to zero. Your learning will be much better. You will not be able to coast. Uh, 10 to 15 LPA starters. Uh, work-life balance is decent usually. Uh, can coast after a few years. Uh, you know, you can reach an EM level in these companies if you're working here for a really long time. If the stack is sort of built by you. after a point you know you can become an engineering manager and coast if you like uh, stocks can make you very rich in case of zomato that happened in case of razor pay that will almost certainly happen and today even the society will accept you back in the day even the founding engineers of razor pay would tell me ke you know my family doesn't understand it they were like kya kar rahe ho i wasn't able to explain and then eventually left but today i think thanks to shark tank or whatever the society will accept you and if you say you work at a zomato or a swiggy you know you won't feel bad in the in your whatever meetings to your relatives not that it matters at all all righty let's move on to the third option which is remote jobs um the first category is sort of being made right now um and it's becoming lucrative as a category especially you know when i talk to a lot of people in fang then i and i ask hey what are you deciding between fang or you know microsoft or google or a amazon to their like it's pretty much the same let's just go for microsoft because you can coast up and you know no one else is paying more than this other than yc backed companies so you know this is slowly becoming a lucrative market uh, and you know still in the making um examples of this is you know a yc backed company or a vc based startup uh, this photo is of levels io 
has no relation to you know remote jobs this person is a whatever indie hacker but this is how you're usually working in a remote job because you're back home 16 to 13 lpa starting uh, taxes make it much more lucrative you can you know save a little bit more on taxes if you have international salary compared to you know whatever indian pf and an indian salary uh, harder to get equity from india so very honestly you know i've got an equity but it's very hard to you know liquidate it in india that company needs to have an indian entity basically unless you move to the us uh, don't even expect to get any equity it's very hard to get it you know converted to money eventually um path to move to the us on an o1 this might fi- surprise you uh, surprised me as well but you know one of the first refers that we made uh, from 100x devs is applying for an o1 uh, the company likes him too much the investors of the company have told k bring your founding engineers to us it might happen if it does you know it's going to be our international success story but long story short there is a path uh, if you you know keep impressing the engineers uh, the company and if the company is doing well you know o1 is not too difficult to get today but worst case you get a b1 b2 and you know keep working from the us and india stability historically has been very stable i have worked for you know four years at least in remote jobs i'm usually the one who's leaving same i've seen from everyone that we have referred everyone that we have referred as you know 20 hours a week he's in college has been offered 40 hours a week or everyone who we have you know referred at probation periods have cleared them and you know are doing really well in the company so historically has been very stable but the history is only for the past 3 4 years so you know no one knows i would still say you know it's stable enough because you're being hired based on your credentials they really want what you are performing on day zero uh, so you know why would they fire you compared to you know let's say a company where you joined and you are coasting so it's you know again not too difficult not easy to get laid off but there's a possibility all righty niche remote jobs uh, this is you know what I, i'm sure most people want uh, but it's very hard uh, i've put out a few examples here recently i don't know how many of you probably not a lot of you know about sean uh, dibbo uh, i'm butchering his back uh, second name Uh, he is the founder of Pion. Pion is an open source implementation of WebRTC in GoLang. A uh, very hot project, you know, back in 2021, 2022, when WebRTC was, you know, very big thing. Um, and he recently got into OpenAI. My, you know, after many years of my life, FOMO kicked in when I saw, shit, finally, you know, a WebRTC person made it to OpenAI because whatever OpenAI is building, you know, that voice-based agent. Uh, so how did he get there? Because he is the core maintainer of one of the biggest WebRTC projects out there, right? Even his worst case was working at Twitch, or you know. other companies so if you are really good at a technology uh, your location doesn't really matter even though sean isn't from india but you know wouldn't have mattered if he was from whatever ghana india dubai us uh, because he was getting hired based on his work uh, what did he do as i said he built pion what can you do you can contribute to a bunch of projects i was one of the contributors to a sister project in pion yeah the first thing i thought when i saw this was i should have been contributing for the you know past 2 3 years there uh, WebRTC, Web3 and AI are such niches uh, where, you know, if you're really good at them, um, you can either start up. Uh, there are a few people who are really good at AI and got into YC themselves. Uh, Web3, mein, yeah, 100K offers are, there are a bunch of companies on Solana. You can look them up uh, that, you know, uh, give out offers like these. Uh, and WebRTC, mein, you know, this is one example, probably a very big example. But, you know, a bunch of other companies I've mentioned here that can hire if you're good at WebRTC. Um, usually require a lot of open source proof of work. And, you know, the interview goes like this. Um, 100 to 100k salaries fairly basic slash you know uh, expected stocks on top mostly your stocks will be much more than your base over here uh, because you're joining at a senior level uh, work life balance is extremely good i wouldn't even say good because you know you are valued as a resource you are the one who's directing the timelines of things no one knows more than you when it comes to whatever web rtc in this case so of course you know um, no one's going to pinch you uh, about timelines unless you know there's someone better than you in that company usually that's not the case you know i'm sure sean is one of the best people in web rtc in open it today and you know same for this example over here uh, another very popular niche is telegram based bots on solana or whatever in web3 so there's this person who wanted okay cool do you know anyone who has good experience building meme coin trading telegram bots bonk bot basically the same thing like vote on bullex bullex i know a guy who would pay a good salary for it uh, so i asked him how much can he pay uh, for this person because i already know there's a person who's working in a different company that does the same thing he makes 100k there so yahan pe you know it wouldn't have made sense and it did not make sense they were willing to pay only 100k so it wouldn't have made sense for him to move but 100k again is a decent starting number if you know let's say how to build meme coin trading telegram bots here or if you are you know really good at web rtc um usually you are joining the company at series a so stock won't matter too much uh, this is a personal experience might change as well you know if you join this specific company mentioned here it's really early so your stock might be valuable open ai if you're joining at this stage you know your stock might not appreciate as much as you know your cash component would already be cool let's talk about the last one hfts and finance uh, first is 
there are standard goldmans jp morgan a uh, bunch of other banks rbs uh, where you would expect a better pay than fang but was work life balance and probably was work you're working on a lot of finance systems unless you like finance a lot unless you want to be a finance guy a strategist uh, doesn't make too much sense for a tech guy to join at least again this is my personal experience i worked at goldman for 1.5 years and swore ki i will never work at another f- finance company again um, at least you know one like this where you have a lot of back end work to do back end systems to build that no one is really using again depends a lot on the team um, but i was bored you know fairly quickly uh, you can still move to the us from here though uh, this is a very nice carrot that at least you know goldman would give you okay work really hard here for three more years and then we will shift you to the dallas office or you know the new york office a lot of people move also um so if you feel like you have you know six years that you were okay working in india let's say and then you know they will move to the you, you to the us you'll work there all of my teammates are in the us my manager moved to the us with his family my co-worker he went through a masters but again moved to the us got an offer from goldman uh, dallas as well ended up joining google so you will always have that you know opportunity to move to the us if you're a decent performer here that's the first type of finance company the second one oh the title here is wrong it should be nhft nhft is you know expect at least 30l probably more uh, back in college tower research was one nhft that used to come probably still hires today uh, the problem here is they usually hire uh, from tier 1 colleges unless probably you're if you're really good at you know low latency trading systems or you understand languages like c really well uh, it will be harder for you to get that interview if you're from a tier 1 college you'll probably you know see these companies visiting campus uh, these are the you know hot companies in campus today uh, back then it was fang um, the reason again is you know because they pay a lot that's really it there's no other reason that people uh, you know prefer companies like these uh, but you know the cash comp here can go up to 1 cr sometimes right out of college so that's not you know that that, that is enough motivation for anyone in any college to you know join these companies all right that's all the companies that i had um, lastly i wanted to share ki you know hard work helps uh, joining some of these companies early so is very easy i mean the 3 5 lpa consult is i'm sure that's very easy to get in you know infosys will hire you like this probably without an interview as i said most people that get hired there you know don't even know much they're just coasting uh, and you know are one of the people on the benches um but if you want to let's say move up the chain you saw a bunch of projects here or you know a bunch of categories uh, hard work is the only thing that's needed uh, this is satyam here is a live video i did like a few days ago when he moved from 8 lpa to 30 lpa might not feel like the biggest jump but his stock component is also fairly high i think his overall comp is around 50 lakhs uh, in an early stage startup which if it blows up you know his equity might become worth a lot uh, but as you can see his github you know became very active like 2 months ago and for the last 2 months he showed me his screen time it was like insane it was like too bad itna bhi nahi hona chahiye it was like 20 hours 21 hours like that i think 12 to 16 hours uh, a day if you are giving trying to upskill yourself uh, and you know very actionably you know what kind of categories already exist right so you know which direction you need to work hard in if you want to whatever get into finance then one you need to be a little lucky ki these companies visit campus or you get a referral and two there's like standard puzzles that you have to go through that they'll ask in an interview if you want to get into this then of course you have to be really good at what you do you probably uh, you don't know, already know what to do here is find an interesting protocol company that you know you really like and start contributing to their code base or start an open source project of your own that blows up uh, remote jobs founding engineer ka to oh yeah bhai building a lot of projects making sure their production ready visible beautiful and finding that early stage company that has just raised getting there is the hard part uh, but you know yeah you, it's, it depends a lot on the network for example we have referred a few people now into yc and we were seeing this you know network effects of one company referring another company referring another company so the tree is becoming fast quick uh, so it's a balance of either you finding that company or you know you getting referred from someone um, because it's harder to convince these companies to hire from india unless you know you have someone in the middle or whatever someone vouching for you or you have to really throw it to their face kids one tenth the salary of a us engineer but also he's as good as the us engineer so it's much harder to convince them because it feels like oh how can this happen but once the engineer joins they're you know super happy so hard work is key um, and you know you should go through this video he talks about how much he worked hard for the past not even too much like two months uh, is good enough to you know become job ready that's all i had i will see you guys in the next one bye bye